So, you know, I think that's really important is that we're, we're pushing that next man up philosophy. She helped us a lot. Uh, them guys, some big guys uh, on the boards for us. Um, Reek, uh, blocking shots, Jansen on the boards, Mike on the boards. Um, it's a great thing. Uh, that's where they, that's what they specialize in. So I'm proud of those guys. I think rebounding, if you can control the glass, you can control a lot of games. Um, you know, you can't necessarily determine how you're going to shoot um, or how the other team's going to shoot. You know, you can try to defend it, but it may not work. But if you control the glass on the offensive and defensive end, which we win the battle on both ends, you know, I, I feel like you have a good chance to win any game with that. Um, it's, it's, it's a great feeling. Um, I'm, I'm glad, I'm grateful to be back in here uh, talking to you guys. Um, back on the court, it was just that, those six weeks were very tough for me. Um, just trying to understand, you know what I'm saying, grow as a person, as a player as well. Um, without being with the guys, it was very <laughs> definitely tough, but um, I'm, I'm grateful to be back. I'm grateful to be back. I'm grateful to be back. I'm thankful for these guys. I'm happy to play with these guys again. And I'm um, just excited for the season's a long season. And I'm just ready. I'm ready. So. And I'll speak on behalf of the team. He's brought a lot of you know, positive energy and a lot of good back to our team. So you can tell that regardless of, you know, the reasoning, you know, he, he had a great learning experience and really developed himself as a person even more than he was. And he was already a really good person. So. Hey, you guys, when you look at this team, there are a lot of vocal guys on the team who could be leaders. So do you think that's a good thing? You guys have so many guys that can step up and be the guy that needs to step up in the locker room when you need uh, you know, someone to step up and be that guy to talk. Maybe during a time now you need that guy to step up and, and kind of get you guys going. Does that help you guys having so many different guys who can be that person? Absolutely. He's just one of my leaders. But, um, you know, absolutely. I think, you know, it's big time. You know, with maturity, you got to find a guy um, – you know, most teams in college basketball today, you got to find a guy who's been around who could be your leader. And you just try to, you know, throw that on the guy with the most, you know, experience. But we've got a lot of guys with that. So it's, it's um, you know, it's nice to have one guy who steps in and, and, you know, determines himself as, you know, a leader in the locker room. But because we have so much, you know, experience, we can all just kind of lead by a group. You know, we've got guys like Rue's been around. This is his fourth year here. It's my third you know, Jansen transferring in, he's a grad transfer, and Braxton grad transfer. Like, we've got guys. You know, Cooper's a – this is fourth-year college basketball. You know, we've got guys who have, you know, been around the block a few times. So, I think it's really good that we can kind of do that by committee rather than try to put pressure on one guy, even though it's nice to have one sometimes. And another question, too. Uh, you know, there's been times this year where you guys have had a big lead and you've allowed teams to creep back into games. Talk, talk about what that is, what you need to find to put teams away and – uh, toward the end of the games, maybe be able to relax a little bit then and not have to kind of fight for a victory? Um, I think that's something we definitely got to get better in, putting teams away. Um, just out the strength of, we, you know, so we play so hard. We, 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 every possession is kind of just like fast paced. So it's kind of, it's, it's tougher to uh, take those possessions, um, cherish those possessions. So we got to do that more often, um, cherish possessions and, you know what I'm saying, just put teams away when we up. Um, but it's early in the season, uh, yeah. you know, is it with games, it's going to get better and better every, every game. So I think that's one thing we definitely uh, got to get better in now. Yeah, I agree with that completely. I think <clears throat> we have guys, you know, because we play so fast, we have teams who normally, you know, in some situations they'd be put away with a 15, 17 point lead, you know, with, you know, eight minutes to go. But because we're pressing the entire game, you know, that gives teams a chance if they want to run, you know, if they can run and, you know, we happen to go cold or whatever, that gives the team a chance to stay in the game. So we got to really work on putting teams away and being able to execute on offensive end if we're going to continue to press like that. So. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, you guys started really fast at the end, but then you kind of went on all three, four minutes support. Uh, point in the first half where you did score a field goal, and as soon as you create a shot, went another three minutes and didn't score another, you know, hit a few free throws in between there and things like that. So what has to be done to create some consistency? You know, you got that. I'm um, just honestly just you know what I'm saying playing team ball uh keeping these guys going um swinging the ball around the horn and just you know what I'm saying getting that emotional offense um I think I think we well, this is not the first time it happened I think it happened uh against JMU as well so it's just one of those things we got to work on early in the season and you know what I'm saying just shoot shots should get open shots we kind of try to 
know what I'm saying, get the best shot possible. So it's kind of just like when teams are play, defending and stuff like that, it's kind of we just still trying to figure it out. So um, I think with time, with games, is we can, we'll figure it out. I agree. I think just coach came in at half and emphasized ball movement. So I think, you know, to piggyback off what he was saying with team ball, I think guys just need to find a way to keep everyone involved um, and find a way to keep themselves involved. You know, the guys can kind of catch the ball and stick and kind of freeze up, and, you know, at least when the ball sticks with guys like Rue or the guys like Cooper, like they're trying to create, they're not just going to let it stick and, you know, stay. Like they're trying to create baskets and create opportunities for them to score and for the team to score. So, you know, we got to have guys who, if it's going to stick, we got to be able to create. And two, if we, you know, continue to move the ball and pass up good shots for great shots, we'll be, you know, good shape. You guys mentioned it earlier, but uh, it's been in the rim five blocks tonight. Uh, some big ones right there. Mm -hmm. Confidence you guys have, especially been like, Guy behind you. Tariq and Jansen are big time, um, big time on the board. So uh, blocking shots and things like that. Um, I'm, I'm thankful for those guys, man. They play so hard, and I wish I wish we could uh, feed them more. You know what I'm saying? So they could be happier. You know, but that's that's something we're we definitely are uh, working on too. So I agree with that. I feel like it makes a lot of uh, a lot of guys happy to know they have that kind of anchor in the back. Um, you know, they, they, they really embraced that role in being rim protectors and making sure that they control the paint. So, um, you know, those two, along with Ward, he had a big block tonight. Um, those three guys are going to, you know, continue to protect the rim. So it takes a lot of pressure off the perimeter guys. It, you know, coach tells us to press up. And, you know, he tells us consistently that there's guys behind you. If they go by, you so what? But now, you know, mentally we all feel comfortable because we see it happen. We see guys, you know, Jance had three blocks, Reek had a block. I mean, inconsistently, they're, they're – you know, challenging people at the rim. So it takes a lot of pressure off us and honestly builds confidence for us to be able to press up. So mm -hmm. I think that's huge. Appreciate you Yeah, let, me, let me just open by saying uh, what an inspiring win for football. And that was awesome. I watched it in my office. I wish I could have been at the game. Um, my wife was texting me the whole time. I kept telling her I'm watching it. Um, uh, but that, that, was, that was phenomenal. I'm so happy for Walt. Um, he's doing a phenomenal job and uh, I'm fired up for them and Parker and all those guys. Um, I thought us, I thought we did some great things tonight. It wasn't um, the prettiest win, but it's a win. And we gutted it out. Uh, we played uh, the second half. We just, we, we went to our two, three zone. We were in foul trouble in the first half. Uh, they did a good job driving us. Um, we did a bad job of reaching and put a lot of pressure on Reek and we put a lot of pressure on Jansen. Um, but uh, this is a good win. They, they're, Look, they came in 0-3. They're beating somebody. They played way too hard not to win a bunch of games this year. They're a scrappy group. They play hard. They're well coached. And, uh, you know, I'm excited that we were able to pull this win out. Uh, Coach, first, first game this season, you guys out-rebounded your opponent. Uh, is it a focus that you guys have put on or – you know, we've we've we really stressed rebounding the last couple of days, but you look at tonight. You know, we we um, we didn't force many turnovers. We didn't create a lot of extra possessions for ourselves. So, um, but we did a great job offensive rebounding. We've done a great job offensive rebounding all year. Uh, today, we just I thought Jansen came up with some huge rebounds um, that you know could have went their way. And then you know Michael's always tough around the basket. So we did a really good job rebounding. We got to build off that. We got to keep doing that. If we do that and we force turnovers um, and we shoot the ball like we do, we got a chance to be a really good team. I don't know. I got to feel. I, I got to keep learning, Jansen. He he got mad there in the second half and had an incredible dunk. Um, I love that kid. I wish I could. I wish we could have him forever. You know, he's he's special. He plays hard. He does. I, you know, he does. A, he does exactly what you're taught to do underneath the basket, going vertical and challenging shots. You know, and he's got a couple that didn't go his way with with the fouls. But uh, you can see why that he's Marshall's all-time leader in blocks. You can see that. 
and he's going to block a lot of the shots for us, but he's going to have magical moments for us. Like that dunk, I, I don't know, Nathan, that was, that was, that was pretty good. That one, that was something like Nick Mayo would do. Coach, first of all, I wanted to talk to you about your prediction for the football game when I talked to you earlier today. It wasn't quite what you predicted, but just talk about today and, and how magical it was for Eastern for the football team to get that that incredible win in double overtime and then for the fans to make their way over to the basketball court and for you guys to get a good win today as well. You know, it was an incredible day, Michael. I think the, the thing that, that gets overlooked on a day like this is um, the support staff, the administration, all that they do to make a day like this happen. You know, they're, you know, our video crew is running over here to the arena, you know, Dave Miller and his group to set it up. Lindsay's over here, you know, we're, we're, the game goes to overtime. So we're panicking, trying to figure out how we're going to run the clock and I didn't get everybody over here, but um, yeah, we both won uh, football's win, hopefully gets them in the playoffs. Um, you know, and then us winning is, is a, this a great win for us. Yeah, I'd like to see Hugh Davis and Greg Stottlemyre in a foot race from uh, from Roy Kidd Stadium over to Alumni Coliseum. I think that'd be a neck and neck race to get over there. Stotts isn't going to win any race. I promise you that, Michael. <laughs> He's not winning any race. One thing I asked the guys was about you know that 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 thing you got to have to put teams away. And you've had you know three or four times this year, you guys have had a big lead and and let teams come back against you. Tonight was kind of that same way. You still you ended up with a pretty good sizable win, but. What is it that can you teach that? Is it something that you guys have to learn throughout the year to be able to put teams away when you get a good lead? You know, I think that that comes in the, throughout the course of the year, especially the way we play. We play a different style, and yeah, we're, we 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 want to be the best conditioned team in the country, and that's what we're going to be. But right now, we're not. You know, we're not in elite shape yet. We're going to get there. But when we got up ten on JMU. Um, we didn't step on them like we should have. Tonight, we, we have a 10-point lead, and I thought Michael Marino made some huge plays, huge plays. Uh, got some offensive rebounds. I think he hit a three. He hit the 17, 18-footer right there beside the bench. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. All right. Thanks, Coach. So... Braxton's been dealing with the with the back injury for a while, and he's uh, he's gutted it out, and he's played to this point. He tweaked it again yesterday, and I, Nathan, I there was no way to really play him today. He begged to play. He wanted to go out there. Um, I let him do it. I probably shouldn't have let him do it. He's just a, he's a tough kid, and that's what he's been dealing with. And um, I'm proud of what he's what he's brought to our program, the toughness, and um, but. Uh, Hopefully we get this figured out. It may take us some time, though. We did, and uh, we couldn't really afford to get into, into much more foul trouble. We needed Shad to, to play a lot of those minutes in the second half. And I, I thought, Nathan, I thought Jamaro did a really good job, you know, versus their one two, two, you know, press. I thought he, he handled the press pretty well. And, you know, now we got to kind of figure out going forward, you know, maybe these next few games, you know, we got to play, you know, shot and then we kind of play that that point guard position by committee. We might put anybody there. We might put Kurt there. We might put Tay there, Cooper, Jamal, you know, who knows? Shit, guys, I'm tired. <laughs>